Flag here, and welcome back to Flagcraft, where we are continuing on with the Botania, and it's getting to a fevered pitch. No, not really. It's we're we're just getting started on the Botania. So, uh, if you remember where we left off last time, I uh, I punched a hole in my wall. We've got living stone and, I'm sorry, living rock and living wood both growing right now. We've been working on that. I went out for a couple of hours and collected up a whole bunch of leaves. Uh, as you can see, I created some nightshades as well, not night blooms like I was calling them in the last episode, like an idiot. Uh, so those nightshades are collecting mana for me during the evening, while well, the day blooms are collecting it during the day. And you can see it's being shot. Vroom, vroom. And it actually looks at... Where is this one getting? Because I laid this out earlier. I have my... Oh, I guess it's just emptying out what was still there. My nightshades used to be over here. But we're going to be putting something else there eventually. Uh, as you can see, I did learn how to move them as well. I'll show you how to do that later. So our mana pool is filling up, and what we needed to do was create a real mana pool rather than a diluted mana pool. So you can see, now it will allow us to do it. So we hit Q. <laughs> We've got a mana pool. Now you can see I've got two. That's because I had made one earlier on while I was setting up for the episode. So we're going to lay one right there. Now am I going to have to... Reset those. Yeah, is it going okay? Alright, now these mana pools, these hold insane amounts of mana. So that's why I needed the mana pool. Uh, now you see I have a second one, and yes, uh, I'm going to explain why I have a second one here very soon. Because we need to build some more things first. So our next step is to build ourselves an alchemy catalyst. Now, what an alchemy catalyst will do, it, it will allow us to basically do alchemy right out of our mana pool. So, uh, like for example, you can turn rotten flesh into leather uh, for a little cost of mana, uh, and things like that. So, uh, let us build our alchemy catalyst. It is built with living rock, gold ingots, brewing stands, and a mana pearl. Now, how do we make a mana pearl? We just drop an ender pool pearl into our mana pool. And it takes a little bit of mana. But first, we're going to have to make... I only have one brewing stand, so we're going to have to go make a brewing stand. And I can't remember how to make a fucking brewing stand. Uh, that's it? Three cobblestone and a blaze rod? Oh, wow. That's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, back to the house. And, uh, tell me I have some blaze rods. Well, I suppose it's okay, I have some other blaze stuff. Uh, blaze rods, blaze rods, I have no blaze rods. I have no blaze rods! How can I make blaze rods? With what I have here. Uh, oh, es blaze essence. Yes. I have blaze essence. That is in too many chests. You know, we're going to have to look into doing uh, uh, one of those uh, crazy ass uh, sorting systems, the computerized sorting systems, because this is just getting kind of crazy for me. Okay, it was uh, magical crops. That's what I'm looking for. There it is. All right, blaze essence, blaze essence. Oh, there it is. Blaze essence. Oh, I'm not going to use this one. We're going to use this. And let's just make a whole bunch. How many do we got? We got 24. So let's just drop one in there for now. And grab some cobble. One, two, three. And cobble. There we go. Two brewing stands. Let's, uh, where's our rare items? Let's drop these off. Okay, uh, and I believe we needed gold as well, didn't we? 
we still got gold out there, but maybe we should grab some just to be safe. And we need an ender pearl. So into our rare items. Grab an ender pearl. And we'll bring a little bit more gold out with us too. Uh, let's bring like 16. Okay, back outside, back to craft. Go. We should replace these as well. I was doing a lot of that while uh, we were in between episodes, guys. Uh, oh, yes, sorry, we gotta go do this first. So let's see if we can change our Ender Pearl into the thing that we need yet, if we have enough uh, mana. There is not enough mana in there yet. Okay, so let's set everything else up. I need... Let's look at it again. Four living rock, those two and the two gold. Okay. So. Oh, there's my petals. Living rock. One, two, three, four. Oops. So it goes one, two, three, four. Two. No, it's, those weren't there. They were there and there and the brewing stands, and now we just have to put our uh, mana pearl in there as soon as we have the mana. Not yet. Okay, so uh, more or less, let me, let me explain what this thing will do. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to place it underneath this mana pool so that we can use this mana pool for alchemy all the time. So I'm digging a hole, so we can put it under there. That's right. That's exactly what we're doing. And that's what's going on. Nope, still can't do it. Come on. We need some mana. All right. Well, uh, let's see here. Uh, in the meantime, we need something that will actually give us more mana, like more than what we're normally doing. So, uh. Endo flame. We need to create a different type of plant. An endo flame is actually a really good way to do it. Uh, what is? Holy shit! Look at that. Okay, let me write this down. We have. Uh, it's a, a mystical brown, a mystical light gray, and a mystical red. A brown, a light gray, and a red. And then we have the red mana petal. And we have a brown mana petal. Now, these mana petals... Sorry, I was writing those down as we go, guys. These mana petals are made just by dropping, you know, the mystical brown petal into the thing. So, let's grab ourselves two brown petals and two red petals. Uh, okay, we'll go two brown. And two red. Now hopefully this doesn't take up a whole lot of mana because we're trying to collect up for our ender thingy. Nope, still can't do it. We can do this though, so we're gonna go one, two, one. Oh, we don't have enough! Give me a burst, guys, come on. Come on, come on, just give me a little bit more. Come on! Oh, still not enough. Okay, so anyhow, let's go back. Uh, we're going to need a seed. Seed. Let's get all this stuff out of here. Okay, and it's going to be a... We're going to need... A brown. We're going to drop two in. We're going to need a light gray. A light gray. Tell me I found some light gray plants, please. Light blue. Are you kidding me? I don't have any light gray. Oh, well, that's a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? Um, let's go back and check in the house. We'll see if we have any light gray back in the house. Ok, 
Okay, light gray. Tanya! Anything light gray, come on. Black, mystical white. <gasps> light gray, right there! Yes! Oh, thank fuck. Why didn't I change these into petals like I did with everything else? Alright, so we got the two brown. We got our two light gray. We need two red. And then we need uh, two of those mystical brown. And then two of those mystical red. So let's go over and let's try to dump this red in there. See if we can finalize this. Yeah, we got enough now. Oh, that didn't work. Did I pick it up again? There we go. And... Okay, got it. Now... We are going to go over here. Do we got water in there? No, we didn't prep it up. Of course we didn't prep it up, because we're idiots. Here we go. So we're going to go water. One mystical brown. One mystical gray, one mystical red, one brown, one red, and some seeds. Oh yeah, endo flame. Now let's make one more here really quickly. All right, so we go. I don't have any seeds on me. Did I, why did I only grab one seed? Oh, just leave me with one there. Come on. Come on. Okay, here, here we go. Uh, okay, we got the brown. Gray, red, that thing, that thing, and then this. Yeah, okay, so we have two endo flames now. Now what we're going to do is take these endo flames over here. And uh, for right now, we're just going to drop them, uh, let's see. Uh... Let's put one here, and one here for right now. So we take a look at these endo flames, you can see they're actually, uh, they're not doing anything. What these things are capable of doing is taking anything that's burnable, and it will burn, it will take it into itself. It will burn, and it will, uh, it will take whatever it burns and turn it into mana, rather than cooking something. So for example, I, I got some blocks of coal here. One, two. Watch it suck it in. It's in, and then it lights on flame. So, and then we go one, two for that one. Suck it in, boys. Don't you want it? Did I not get it close enough to you? Come on. Okay, well, maybe they've got enough for right now. But any anyhow, that's what you do. You, you know, it's like you can drop wood in there. You can drop anything in there. Look, see, they're, all, they're sucking up the power now. Sending it right... Look at how quickly that mana spreader is filling up. And it's sending it all over here to my mana pool. Which uh, may now be able to create my mana pearl. No! Of course it can't. So, uh... Okay. Let's let this sit around and collect up for a little bit, and, um, yeah. And then when we come back, we'll complete off the, uh, the alchemy thing. Alright? Alright. So, uh, just be a few minutes for me. Uh, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Check you later!